Hey guys and welcome to this Train Sim TV video. This is Mark. Today we're taking a look at the North London Lines BR slash NSE era version 4 route from backdated Train Sim. Version 4 of the route adds to the brand new line to Croc Croxley Green from Watford Junction and we're going to take a look at that in this video. That's not all that's included but that's what we're going to focus on here. We're going to go into what else is included and I'm sure Tom's going to feature it as well in the coming days. So here we are at uh, Watford Junction, we're in one of the 10 included scenarios, that is the Croxley Express. And as it says on the screen there, good evening, a light journey to, journey to Croxley Green and back for you this evening. Whilst preparing the train, open the doors for boarding, departure is at 17.45, that's about two minutes. So let's get the doors open, we've got an immensely loud 87022 over there, making a fair bit of racket. So we've got the doors open, open the windows too. Uh, let's try and set this up now again. This is now about the fourth time that I've tried to set this thing up and I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Don't drive it very often, so that is my only excuse that I'm going to come up with for that. Let's get some marker lights on here. And then once we've done that, we'll have a little talk and look at the map and uh, see what we're looking at. So yeah, you get Watford Junction is the northern end of version 4. Uh, and the other new stuff to version 4 is the Croxley green branches we're looking at here obviously you've got the met line goes past the end of there as well uh, this turns off from the DC lines just after Watford High Street station now you obviously get the section to Euston which is off the west coast main line south but it's been backdated once again and I understand that Euston has been really uh, nicely backdated but we'll take a look at that in one of Tom's videos and streams I'm sure coming up today we're going to focus on the Croxley green bit so yeah, North London Lines, it obviously it gives you the full North London Lines, you need the original off DTG, that's needless to say that. Um, but this is the backdated version to 1984-85 I believe. And you get stuff like the branch to Broad Street, you get all sorts of little bits um, added in there. And it is well worth downloading and checking out because uh, the sort of backdated nature of it is uh, really well done. And it's got a really gritty feel to it. So I'm looking forward to this because I'm hoping this has got the same sort of feel. And obviously you get the lovely NSE of a signage here at Watford Junction on the West Coast Main Line. So we're just heading now out of uh, Watford Junction. Let's get some more game sound on here, guys, so you can hear a bit more when I'm not wibbling on. So on this service, we're going to call it Watford High Street, Watford Stadium, Watford West, Croxley Green, and then we've got two minutes there before we literally just come straight back. And uh, we'll do a nice out and back run. This is one of the reskins I think that comes with the route as well. There are some uh, reskins that are included, or available, uh, and they're required for the scenarios. Um, they're available from back there, train soon. So just getting off that 35 onto the 35 limit, so here we go. Got another 313 coming the other way into Watford Junction, that'll be. Uh, one of the DC line services, no doubt. So this will basically be, I imagine, the West Coast Main Line South section of route, more or less, that we're on at this uh, precise minute. Once we get to Watford High Street, we'll turn off and we'll head off on the new bit of the route to Croxley Green. We are of course driving the Armstrong Powerhouse uh, slash Wagons Class 313 pack. So we're just coming into Watford High Street. Looking forward to seeing some scenarios for this, especially the DC line section to Watford Junction. I think that should be quite cool. I have to admit, it's not a route I've particularly played that much outside of seeing it on streams and stuff. Um, because it's outside of my interest area, but this has really piqued my interest to do this little bit because it's right down my alley. It's uh, backdated little branch lines and stuff. And immediately we've overshot. See ya. Um, immediately we've overshot. We've got the feather on the signal there, as you can see. So we're going to head off towards Croxley Green. And again, lovely NSE signage going on. And it really brings it into the right area for the route. 
which is uh, great to see. And they actually got these NSE signs on the posters as well, which is cool. Not just left the old ones in like uh, you could have got away with if you wanted to. Much better without them though, than uh, with the uh, NSE ones. As you can see, when I'm getting down it's looking like it's going to get quite overgrown. I'm, I'm quite excited for this. Right, next stop for us, Watford Stadium. Which obviously, I'm guessing must be somewhere near Vicarage Road. Which is where Watford obviously play. Football team. I'm guessing that's what Watford Stadium is. I don't know the area. Probably be a dog track or something in my uh, look. So we've got a 15 mile an hour crossover. And we'll run for a short time on the down line before we curve off onto the Croxley Green branch. As I said, it's only about two and a half miles long. So uh, not a massively long line, but I'm looking to see what sort of detail and stuff's been included because I'm quite uh, quite excited for it. So it's 20 mile an hour on this bit. Already you can see some lovely uh, bits of overgrown network. One in hundred downhill at this point. So this line actually closed 25 years ago this week. It was 1986, I think, the last service. It didn't officially close, of course, until I believe it was 2003. It actually fully, you know, was announced as closed. And I believe they're actually all about reopening it. Um, there's a link into the Met line thing. But yeah, the actual line shut 25 years ago this week as the route was being released. In 1996, March 96, it got to close. The last service ran. Liking it so far. So you can see here, obviously, this junction to the left, I don't know, but I'm guessing that is the Watford to Rickmansworth line that used to go down there, which were linked into the Metropolitan line, uh, I believe, and went over towards Rickmansworth. And that went off, we can clearly see to the left here. Looks nice, doesn't it? We've got two stations coming really close together. Nice use of the uh, DTG forwards going on. I guess it's not Vicarage Road because we just passed a big stadium up there, so it probably is a dog racing stadium. As we come into our first station, this is Watford Stadium. Let's see if we can actually stop at this one instead of like overshooting like I did before. Instead of stopping like overshooting, we're now stopping short. There we go. Let's take a screenshot because that looks rather nice with the uh, power lines and everything. So, this is Watford uh, Stadium Station. I love the work that's gone into putting the paths and everything down the side. And of course, this is all brand new. This wasn't in West Coast Main Line South or anything like that ever since we turned off the Main Line. Not actually a stadium here, is there? So I guess maybe they knocked it down. Oh, it's over there. That must be Vicarage Road. So I guess it probably is for that, but... Hey, what do I know? Not a lot, evidently. Just taking plenty of screenshots. So next stop for us is Watford West. Now this one, I have always looked on Street View quite a few times at this one. Because the platforms and everything, as of at least last year anyway, were actually still in situ for this one with the NSE lamps and stuff. Um, which is incredible when you think it shut 25 years ago. And there's not many stations like that these days that are left so long after they're closed and still with the sort of track left and everything. 
I think the right side is one of those in Sheffield, but obviously that's a little bit different considering that the line through there is actually still open. Whereas this one's just been left. Ooh, got some funky signage on the left there, look. We'll have a look at that in a sec. So yeah, this is exactly as I remember it from the uh, from the street view that I looked at. It's quite cool. Look. Very nice looking. I'm suggesting this might be a custom footbridge link, actually. There was that little sign here as well. Look. Direction of travel, Watford, Croxley Green. I like it. So we've got about, f about seven minutes till we're due back off Crocs like I mean. Only another three quarters of a mile, so it's not like it's uh, that far to go. This is the sort of thing that I just like to come and do from time to time when you've been working all week or all day on train sim. Just look for something to chart for half an hour on. This is the sort of thing that I like to go and do, so it's uh, a breath of fresh air. I love the feel that he's gone for with this, it's uh, sort of an unkempt branch line, you can really tell that. And the sort of overgrown look, which is very difficult to pull off, he's done a good job with that because it's sort of not too much and it's uh, not too little, it's just about right I'd say. So get it slowed down for Croxley Green, we're coming down towards a 10 mile an hour limit in a sec. And you've got the little distant board here. And in relation to the Met Line, the Met Line saw just about a few hundred yards beyond us here um, at Croxley Station. Plenty of detail being added in. Now that looks cool. Yeah, it's looking good, is this? So we're just pulling into Croxley Green Station, trying not to go for the buffers in the process. Looks like it's a pretty short platform, this, so it should be a, a tight squeeze. Sort of an elevated little platform, it's way up on the banking. There we go, so we'll uh, open the doors. We've got three and a half minutes here to have a little look around. First of all, we'll take a screenshot. Then what we'll do is we're going to change cabs first, because if I leave it to the last minute, we all know that I'll make an absolute mess of it. And uh, we'll never get anywhere. Let's put the window back up. Headlights off, mic lights off, tail lights on. I should have sorted that out. Yep, it has. Right, let's change ends. So this end we need to put the headlights on, mic lights on, tail lights off. Let's get the cab window back down again. Uh, we don't need DRA because there's no signals, so we're not going to have that problem. Plenty of positions to get screenshots on here. So you got, again, it's a lovely little bit of station building, this. That's nice. Great stuff. So how long to the job? We're about two minutes. So a little fly around then. 
the detailing's good. It's it's really nice up near the track, and it's not like anything crazy over here. We've kept it's kept it sensible. Just overall, it's a, a decent bit of route. Nice detail down here as well. Now the Met line, obviously it's not going to be detailed in this room, but this is the Met line here. Uh, Croxler Station, I believe, will be just... It's hard to say exactly where it would be. I think it would be just here somewhere, in those trees. So yeah, in, in the uh, manual for the view, we'll have a little read of the manual whilst we're waiting here. So in terms of the package contents, the package contains the North London Lines BR slash NSE route with the entire length of the route from Richmond to North Woolwich as well as the diversionary city branch to Dalston Junction and Broad Street. Version 4, which is the one we're on here, is uh, now includes the West Coast Mainline DC lines from Euston to Watford Junction with Primrose Hill and the Croxler Green branch. So that's the bit that we're on now, the Croxler Green bit. And uh, the route includes 10 standard scenarios, two free rooms and also it's quick drive compatible so you can... Going quick drive if that's the thing that you like to do. It's uh, got quick drives available for it. And then included in the manual you do get a route map. Which is uh, quite extensive. As I said, you, as I just said, you get quite a few branches and stuff. Um, and then the scenario requirements are actually pretty um, basic. There's not really anything crazy there. Um, because it makes really good use of the BR blue add-on packs for the... Uh, West Coast AI, so you don't need like a thousand packs. I'm sure there'll be other packs that do come available from uh, other people, other scenarios, sorry, from other people. And uh, I look forward to trying those out, but I'm really pleased to see how he's gone for this. And the car route requirements themselves, which I'll go through as we depart here, actually, it's uh, quite refreshing to see that they're not really anything major required, certainly nothing obscure. Um, it's pretty sort of standard stuff so we'll get the train up to speed and I'll read those out for you and uh, we'll drive from the outside view for this bit just so you can get a flavour of the outside look so yeah the requirements for the route so the core route requirements DTG North London Line and Goblin add-on which is pretty obvious you would need that considering that is what the route is based on uh, the West Coast Mainline South route, the London to Birmingham route, that's available from Steam. And the London to it's GEML route. Then you also need the DCG AP station pack, which is included with loads of DTG add-ons. You can see which ones it's included with in the manual. Um, and that's it. Not really a lot there, it's quite, you know, uh, refreshing really. To actually have a route there that doesn't require lots of requirements. Obviously because I guess it quite quite a lot of it's self-contained and there's quite a bit of custom stuff as we've seen included. So um, all around just uh, good stuff. And I'm enjoying this as a, from a point of view of something that really I don't have any interest really in the London area. It's not my um, forte sort of thing but loving this stuff. I love the foliage variants on the sides. It's, it's not all um, linear. There's nice variation in sizes, variation in types. Yeah, just happy to see because it it's been one of those rooms where you sort of waiting for it to come along for a while. And uh, been eagerly looking forward to it. Eagerly looking forward to stopping at Watford uh, West Station. If I can actually get the speed down. Tom's sister there, look on platform. That's going to cause me to overshoot. It didn't cause me to overshoot, but we'll claim that it did, so... Uh, just type bad Tom in comments and it's all good, guys. Oh, well, Tom's sister's got on the train, I think. But yeah, I really like the uh, sort of 
I guess it's an urban feel. It's a suburban slash urban feel to this route. So again, next up, Watford Stadium. So what I'll do now is we're getting close to the end of the route. I'll show up for a few minutes and just let you guys enjoy the ambience of the route. Enjoy the run, guys. And I'll tell you where you can get the route and everything once we get to the end of the video. So our last stop here, Watford High Street, we've got the uh, run back up to Watford Junction. I'll give you all the information on where you can grab this route whilst we're on that last section. I'm going to turn the sound back down so that uh, 
it's not louder than me. Just waiting for our right away from Watford High Street. It's one of those routes that just looks right in here. I mean, a lot of that's obviously the DCU station and everything, but the feel with the NSE furniture uh, is good. Right, let's get this back on the move. So we've just got this climb back up to Watford Junction now. And uh, we'll be there in no time at all. So this route, you can grab it, it's in the description. And uh, you can grab it from back there to train sim. Again, it's been created by Xavier Giver. I hope I've pronounced that right. I probably haven't, and I, I apologise, Xavier, for that. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, a really nice little run. And I've only shown the tip of the iceberg here. Don't forget, you can, you've can you got the backdated section down to Euston, and I believe uh, a backdated version of Euston Station. And I'm hoping Tom's going to be able to video that and stream it in the uh, coming days. I just wanted to get this one done off the bat because I had a bit of uh, a free hour to actually get it done. A nice and enjoyable little uh, little drive. I'm just thinking, they're looking at the map. Wouldn't it not be quicker to walk between the two points almost? I sort of understand why it's short because it really isn't that far at all. It's uh, not a, not a massive distance there. 2.7 miles away. Obviously, if you're disabled, you can't walk it, so. It bins that one off straight away, but. Uh, it's like one of those things you see a challenge of. You sometimes see the challenges where the, the guy will get off the underground train and then run and try and beat the underground train to the next station or whatever. It's not like one of those. I wonder if you could either run or bicycle it actually to the other station, cross the green faster. Maybe it's one for Tom to try. Unfortunately, the stations are lost, closed, and the line's shut, but. Uh, would have been funny to see him struggle. Let's try not to bin it into the buffers here. Yeah? No chance of that we've stopped so short. There you are guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, as I said, you can pick this route up from Backdata Train Sim. Check it out, just Google it or just check the description. You'll be able to find it there, I'm sure. Um Thanks for watching guys. Tom streams live on Twitch. That's most uh, weeks he does two or three streams a week and that's on twitch.tv forward slash train sim underscore tv don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell to get notifications when we get new videos up and uh, stuff like that cheers for watching guys appreciate your support as always bye